And here we go. This is Flash at in a perfect world on the 24th of December 2019. And it's 9 p.m. in the future in Denmark time. You guys are just getting your day going out there in Radio Land and other places. Anyway, we're going to do the traditional thanks to the crew. Hey, Grim. Now, Grimm's got a lot of help from the people that don't take a bow for what they do, but some of them are in the chat room, and I'm going to introduce you to the bots and bodies. What do we got tonight? We've got in alphabetical order, from top to bottom. I ain't going to screw around. I'm going to really tell you who's in there tonight. We've got Barman, Beetle, Cowboy Tech, Grimner, Moose Girl, Kate, Anti, Asmo, Chalcedony, Graham, Z, Job, Doctor, 2J, Dread, Meister, Frau, Ponder, Gander, Poopster, Prince, Rob, Works, Rome's Van White, Vinny Vegas, Weatherdork, Phantom, CC66, Chaskira, Circle, Hello, Honey, Sadborg, Noodle, Dan, Van Meter, Duh, End, Siv, Me, Frumpy, Gromit, J's, Nines, J's, Lewis, 771, Pone Sauce, Raptor Jesus, Sock Poppet, Slim, Slimgen, and Smart Ass, The Holiest, Roger, and Zpex. So if you want to chat it up with uh, you know, the people that mean the most to you, go over to the reallibertymedia.com, make a name for yourself and others. Now, let's see. What have we got going on? I've been uh, telling people for a long time without pointing them to any reference about dog Latin because I just forget that it's not a common it's not a common bit of knowledge like Federal Reserve Bank or uh, I don't know Michelle Obama people people are used to certain bits of information, but when we say things like dog Latin, and you go to your browser box thing and you type in dog Latin, you come up with this child game about English, you know, where they make words, funny words. That's not the dog Latin I'm referring to. So, to guess make this a little bit more clear, I'm going to post one of the links that I found defining it from... uh, Black's Law Dictionary, 4th edition. And it's not going to be a very nice read. Some people are going to find it if they bother to read this themselves. Just listening to me. That, I could be making it up. <laughs> anyway. But uh, it's a very difficult thing to uh, grasp onto with an open mind because it's a big slap in the face. It was for me when I first realized wasn't too many years ago where I started taking the, the language that we use with each other and given any real consideration of what the words mean. And still, to this day, I haven't really gone anywhere with it. I know it exists. I'm aware of some of it, but I don't see that my uh, my attempts at changing this would go anywhere. So the only real help I can be is to let people find out what I think I found out, because it's a subjective thing. If you don't want to believe it, you're going to go, eh, that's not true, which is how a lot of adults get through life. <laughs> I get through it because I don't believe a lot of things that mainstream and, you know, the the expectation mill demanded that I did this and did that. And some part of me just said, nah, I'm going to do it. No matter what, and I stuck with myself through all these years. Now I'm at the end, and I get the answers to all the questions. I wish I would have known this shit 30 years before I found it out in detail. But then I think about it, and knowing it today doesn't help. So knowing it back then would have just made things that I already knew seem more insane to the people. So, eh, here we are. Anyway, let me do a little reading. About, apparently, 
And there's a, I posted the link, right? Yeah, hey, look at me. I'm, I'm overachieving tonight. And it's a little bit, I'm a little bit uncomfortable with the topic because I'm doing the solo thing. So, there's nobody to banter back and forth with, but there's uh, more than one link out there available for you. Now, this link I found, this is according to the Black's Law Dictionary, 4th edition, Dog Latin is the language of the illiterate. It is the Latin all uppercase text usurped into the English descriptive text, appearing under the grammatical rules of descriptive English text. Hmm. I'm getting confused already just reading this legal jibber-jabber. So this is like a, a nerdy kind of show for me to do, because I don't so much take you know, the state and the legal system and all this crap seriously in my own life. But I do realize that as a collective, this is what we have. So if I ever choose to, uh, you know, fight the man, I got to go to their fucking court. And according to their document, going to the court kind of means you've given up and they can do whatever they like with you. And it's how I interpret all this legal text, the way I've, in my experience with, of course, with the police. And lately, from what I've seen on the internet about how they've been behaving for the last 20 years or so, um, they're, nobody's jealous of American cops right now. And I don't, I don't think the Chinese or the French are doing any better, but America's huge. America's in everybody's face every day. Every day. You've got, you, you, know, you got your shit in everybody's business, whether you know it or not. Where China and... Uh, France, not not really, not so much where I'm at. I don't hear a lot about it, but I see things on the internet webs because I'm addicted to information. Anyway, let me get back to this jibber jabber legal schmeagle. And where I left off was in parentheses all up. No, I didn't. I go past. No, all uppercase symbolic text without the hyphens. And not appearing under the true, correct grammatical rules of Latin, and done in order to deceive the illiterate, being the ignorant masses. Ignorance is negligence. It is the hidden secret that destroys the dominion of living man over the land, the sky, and the sea, and the thing that things, it should say things, that creep. Um, now, they're quoting Genesis here, 126. Dodd Latin is the Babylonian language of the vassal, being the third party debtor of the debtor. See, all these, all these weird ideas. Grimm's got a good, good way to explain money, simple for people. Because I, I had a chance to do some radio with him a couple, maybe a year and a half ago. And I asked him specifically. His response was that of somebody that understood how money's created, maybe not why it's created anymore today, but why it started it, how it started, uh, and how the societies that we've created over, like, I don't know, the big, since the beginning have turned everything into a rich man's game and uh, pay for play, politicians get rich. Religious icons poke little kids with their, you know, parts and shit like that. And all of this is all because of this link I'm reading. And I think it's because we're so misled on what we're talking about <laughs> that I think in some ways it, it changes uh, it changes the physical world in somehow when the uh, when the word world is going in a certain direction. Now, these are ideas that I got. And just like telling me the world is round and all that crap. You know, it's just something that I think maybe it's true, maybe it ain't. But we have black and white sitting one right on the table in front of you, right? So you can look at the very same thing I'm reading and still 
your interpretation of these words may vary. So, hmm. what you see as a result of dog Latin may be different than what I see. Then, I guess, a lot of us aren't really aware that we're doing it. Or if you tell somebody, hey, you know, you're talking in jibber-jabber, they would argue, no, not. I know all the grammatical rules and such. And I think what really brought this to mind is my Cirque's nephew, you know, my nephew by marriage. I've known him since he was, wow, I think he's 15 now, right? So I've known him for coming up on, you know, six years. And the kid is growing up. And he was telling me that he's uh, taking English in school more seriously now. When uh, I thought he just wanted to pass it and get the grade, you know, get through it. But no, he said he wanted to give the grammar rules a try. And I thought, damn, because I know how complicated and confusing they are. Back to what I'm reading. Now, personally, I just don't understand why we would communicate with each other the way we do, right? Because nobody follows the rules of grammar, which makes me wonder, well, then why do they even exist if this is dog Latin, like they tell us? And as it said, we're speaking in the wrong order. We're doing it in a, in a way that's just wrong. But yet we've adapted to hearing it in this fashion. We communicate with each other with all these spiffy words, and slangs, and ideas, words that don't translate from one language to the other. Those are my personal favorite. Don't know particularly why. Maybe it's because living here in Denmark, when I hear English in public, it's usually a word that they don't have in, in Danish. And there's there's quite a few of them that, you know, uh, like heirloom, for example. When they play WoW, they have this part of the game and they got an heirloom. But there isn't a Danish word for heirloom, so they use the English word. And I started to take this, we're using the language incorrectly thing a little bit more seriously. Now, maybe not as seriously as, as uh, say, Grammy, Mary, or uh, Vincent, because I'm prone to say any damn thing at any time based on how I feel about something. I don't, I don't think the proof to me is the same thing that's the proof to somebody else. Sadly, I've never been able to just join a group because, you know, if you join this group, everybody's going to like you and you'll be accepted and you know, all that. Now, I'm more interested in to uh, find the things that make you feel comfortable, you know, and if that's in an answer or a drink of coffee, whatever it is, I want to be comfortable. So I get called a hedonist. Hmm. Maybe so. And could be the way that we look at each other on based on all these fraudulent, freaking bent words is why. <laughs> why we can't seem to get along in a society. They've thrown us all at each other, chanting all these stupid words that don't mean what we think they mean. They've got us living under government willingly. Under government, and when you define what government is, uh, for example, through the Brett Black's Law Dictionary, it'd probably give you a better clue than uh, the internet box. You know, when you type in your browser and you go, it gives you the first thing it wants to feed you. Hmm. What if the thing that it feeds you first ain't the only choice? Or what if it isn't the right choice? Hey, we got Cowboy Tech joining us in the Real Liberty Media with a big Merry Christmas Eve chatters. Lovers, haters, waiters, and chargers. And that's uh, Cowboy Tech's one of the... He's one of the guys he, that knows all the technical stuff about these here computers. So, it's good to see that it, <laughs> he popped in to say hi. I don't think he knows I'm on the radio. I didn't even want to say anything about the holiday because uh i feel it would be kind of hypocritical of me to praise up something i don't support but uh, i don't support it for different reasons than other people would make a big hoopla about it mine isn't got religious things to it mine's more like I'm kind of insulted that <laughs> that these societies that i travel through they uh they have a specific time of year and day 
when you are generous and kind to your fellow man because some other prick got hung on a fucking uh, thing. Or is that another day? Well, anyway, the referee, his birthday or some crap like that, right? And I think, wow, I, I don't think I like that. But I'm not a religious-based person, so I really don't have a, I don't have a lot of knowledge about the, the organized religions from personal experience. It's more from watching the results other people you know, post on internet sites or talk about in public or in the bars, wherever I got it from. Over the years, it's just progressively gotten worse. So uh, any form of organized religion is kind of screwed. Yeah. Well, maybe I take it a step further and think money-based things are screwed, but we'll, we'll get into that some other night. But back to my epic tale about Black's Law Dictionary defining dog Latin. And sadly, the definition is far more confusing than the language that we use. You know, when, that's why I mean, I'm so just beside myself on this. There is no answer, you know. We have all our ideas and shit, but now nah, things have gone to shit so badly over such a long period of time that it needs to be like the computer. You know, you shut the fucking thing down. You stop it, and it clears out all that mess that you've created all day, playing, you know, all the games and opening sites and whatnot, pictures. And it clears all that stuff out, and it just starts fresh. And maybe that's how government should be done. Oh, he forgot. Oh, that's no problem. Remember, I figured Christmas Eve, you know, that nobody would be around. But I didn't see any reason not to try to do an hour, you know, and, and uh, on a really harsh topic that I'm going to just suffer talking about because <laughs> I'm not for it. I'm trying to define a problem that we share, all of us. And hmm, there's so there's so little help you can be to other people in, you know, in words. Things you do for others are more physical. These ideas that we have on real liberty media is never going to be popular. You know? Average Joe is so busy just trying to stay the fuck alive, and, you know, work and take care of the kids, and feed them and get them shit and all that. Where do they got time to? sit around on the internet and learn something they didn't know the day before. And why would they want to? It's more shit. At least that's the way I imagine it from being in a situation where I, you know, my time was divvied out to taking care of others. Now my time is pretty much not like that. <laughs> I've reached those twilight years. And now, I'm a burden to everybody. <laughs> so, let me try to continue. Boy, this, this link is really hard. I, I'm almost regretting I, I started it. Because it's so difficult for me to... I, mean, I don't know, you guys are probably just... You know, oh, this is nothing. Why are you making such a big deal out of it? But to me, it's... It's, uh, it's like trying to explain a magic trick. Now, I'm the kind of dork that, you know what, I like the illusion. Don't don't tell me how you did it. I don't want to know how you did it. Just show me you can do it. That's pretend, magic, sleight of hand, fun. And when I started to think about, well, when you do it with words, things change. And I think I started to take the words more seriously through the chat rooms over the time. People are very sensitive. I'm a very sensitive to in the chat room because I have my ideas. You know. hmm. Then when I take a few minutes to look at the evidence that I have that I'm not quite in control or understanding. There you go. Not control, but I don't really understand the words I use because... I was taught to use them by other people that were just where I'm at. What did they know? And then now we've opened up this whole brand new world, right? Right in the middle of Christmas, impeachment, New Year's is coming, and P 
people want to feel good and have a party and enjoy themselves, but they can't. Because <laughs> society is a fucking nightmare, man. All right, the bigger the place, the worse it is. I I don't know. For me, maybe maybe not for the rest of you guys. Still hanging in the city, you know, still in, in the metropolis with the skyscrapers and traffic and tons of people and activity and shows and what else would you have? I guess the modern day, do people still bother with museums? I don't care for them, museums. I like to live in the moment I'm in. If I want to go backward, I'll create a time machine and go back and chop Hitler's fingers off or something. <laughs> you guys ever watch those time shows? I, I'm addicted, personally. I'm addicted to time travel movies. And, and I really am having a hard time reading this, so I might not go back to it. But it's in the, I'll put it in the notes. And that was my goal. Now, I'm going to try to do an hour tonight just uh, pissing and moaning about whatever comes to mind on this <laughs> Christmas Eve uh, 20 uh, and 19. Because, you know, Christmas Eve doesn't exist in some places. I bet you there's people that never heard of old St. Nick. And if St. Nick come down their chimney, They'd shoot his ass. What the fuck are you doing in my fireplace, you old bastard? <laughs> but, you know, it's okay. There's people in mountaintops in the States that you couldn't go up there because they were moonshiners. Even the cops wouldn't go up there. So, hmm. chances are they don't, they don't know who the president is, for crying out loud, because they got no contact with the modern-day world. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a good excuse? Anyway, a lot of this uh, interest I have in the dog Latin. Wow. Hmm. I was giving all this stuff about vibrations and thought on the way to the grocery store. I do some of my best thinking in the uh, 20 minutes it takes to get from the house to the store. And then I do my shit. And then I do some more great thinking on the way back. And something happens between the time that I walk through the door and the time I sit down at the computer, I forget all this great shit I thought of. So, and then it comes flooding back to me like a, boom, some flash of something. And I have been ridiculed up one side and down the other by everybody I've ever met about my not believing in the round globe or the flat earth 100%, you know, one way or the other. I fluctuate. And then something, memory or something, I've been talking about wavelengths and vibration and listening to other people talk about Clint Richardson and, uh, from UCY. Is really, he's a good source of uh, a new way to look at stuff. Anyway, and I started to, to consider if we are indeed just electrical energy and we're vibrating so, I guess, slow at this point that we can actually encounter the sensation of touch, touch a table, see a computer screen, all these things. Maybe the way that I see the physical is the barrier between me seeing the world as round or flat. Because if we're just a bunch of energy bouncing off each other in the long run, who the hell is deciding all this shape and shit that we're in? Hmm. maybe it's not as individual as I would like to think it is. Maybe there's more to it, but who do you trust? You know, where do you get your information from? <laughs> hmm. And I was, I was spewing off about, you know, show me a picture of the earth and I want to see it. And Kate answered me with something, but I thought it was a gag. So I didn't, it wasn't a link. It was like a one liner with a dot or something at the end of it. And I thought she was just playing around, so I didn't pay any real serious attention. But uh, if somebody has a picture of Earth taken from outer space, please let me know. <laughs> Post it! <laughs> I want to see it. I want to see that more than I want to see the smiling face of an honest politician keeping his promise to the public. You know? Remember old Bush? Read my lips. And the next thing you know, he's in office. And guess the fucking first thing he does? <laughs> he gives all his rich crony friends a fucking tax break. 
And who picks up the slack? Raid my laps. That's who. So, hmm. And it doesn't matter which idiot's in that fucking seat. They, they all do the same thing, same freaking way. They just got a different color. You know? I'm blue. I hate the children because of this. I'm red. I hate the children because of that. See how different we are? <laughs> uh, there's no difference between what Obama, Bush, Trump, Carter. Uh, they all did their share. Keep this freaking, uh, what is it, the uh, military industrial complex. What is the fucking thing to, to even consider, let alone pay for? I'm not working one day. I'm not lifting one fucking arm to support the United States military industrial complex. And you know what people will say to that? They'll call me names. I'm telling you, they will. They'll call me like, Oh, tax evader, what else? Um, traitor, lazy, you every negative thing in the world to come from that. But all because I don't want to uh, be a part of something that's, in my opinion, it's not worth doing. Why do it? What good comes from it? Nothing. Now, the place I'm at, I don't participate in it financially, so I I'm a guest in a foreign country that's kind of nice. These people aren't too, they're not too uncivilized at this point in time. I've been to places where there should have been signs that said, look out for headhunters. These people will fuck you up. But, you know, a lot of times it's just the alcohol. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with you. <laughs> and, uh, but we take a lot of shit for smoking weed, I'll tell you that. I don't know why. You know what I should do? I think I'm going to do, I'm going to have a shot or two for the rest of the, I got a half hour left. I'm going to do two shots to finish the show tonight. Let me grab my bottle of, what have I got? I got a Merry Christmas bottle of Telemore Dew Irish Whiskey from my mother-in-law. And uh, it's amazing to uh, receive a gift of whiskey because people would, you know, I've got such a terrible reputation on the interwebs, but in reality, I'm just, a, I'm just funny and old and I'm not a threat to anyone. So they give me bottles of whiskey for Christmas because what the hell am I going to do now? Nothing. I'm going to have a few drinks, make a joke or two, and then I'm going to go to, go to sleep. Mm. Ah, that, that stuff kind of, when it, it slaps you in your, in your lungs, when it's sliding down the pipes. Thank you, mother-in-law. Anyway, yeah, I really, I opened up a can of worms with this freaking link, and now I find that, seriously, I don't want to read it. But I want to do a little bit of a show. Don't know why. I like to take my um, radio time. Take an opportunity to say the weirdest crap sometimes. Because how could you possibly grasp this concept out of the absolute... You'd have to be set up over a period of time to handle something like dog Latin is what it truly is according to the legal definition as opposed you know to what you're going to hear from your peer because your peer they may be dear and near but they don't know what the fuck they're talking about hey ooh, you know and i was thinking about this earlier today my uh my parents did a very uh a very good job of raising me in one respect and a very poor job on another re you know in another way and and that that seems to be that they handled me fine mentally for the most part and but physically they didn't they didn't do worth a worth a shit to this day i have trouble hugging people uh, because i didn't grow up with it and it's weird they I know they, 
what they're doing, and I just don't have that natural walk up to somebody and give them a hug. It's always awkward for me. And I started to think about that on one of my, you know, my wanders to go get some uh, milk or cigarettes or something. And I was thinking about, you know, why? Why am I like this? It, it's unfamiliar. And you go, wow, wait a minute. I've been doing it my adult life, but I didn't get raised with it. See, just like this language thing. The language I was raised with, about half of it was complete trash, and the other half was incorrect. Okay, well, the physical things in life, hmm. they're hard to explain, I suppose. I don't think about it too often, but when I do, I find myself going back to my parents and everything. What the hell? But everybody else's parents, I don't know what they did because I was living my life. So it wasn't strange to me to not be hugged by my mom or my dad or whatever. Actually, it was quite the opposite when I started to think about it and started looking at people and go, what the fuck? They keep, they keep their hands off each other. What's wrong with them? So, you know, they damaged me in that, uh, what do you call it? Some some part of social, it's some kind of social interaction where, you know, you meet people, you shake hands and that kind of crap. And the more you know them, the uh, more familiar they are and Instead of handshake, it's a hug, and I don't progress beyond. Sometimes I never get to a handshake. I'm just not. It takes a while. Like my brother-in-law now, I I can shake his hand. It doesn't. You know, I don't find myself thinking about it. You know, ooh, what have I got to do? But the hug thing. Hmm. So where does that come from? Mm-hmm. And why would it be? It's not like a big issue. It's not important. But it's a behavior that I see all around me. You know, when I uh, when I go out in public, I notice a lot of the little kids. They all curious. You know, they're looking at everybody and they're checking and they're playing and they're doing. And very rarely does a kid not get curious with me. You know, wonder what that guy's doing. <laughs> but uh, the grown ups, not so much. And then the the ones that I get close to, the more time I spend around them, then it's this handshaking thing, and now it's getting into this hug hug me when I meet, and I'm never going to adjust to that. <laughs> but I have convinced uh, myself that I can live in a foreign country without learning the, the local language. And the way that I survive that is just common decency and uh, hmm. A little bit of patience, I think, you know, because we're all the freaking same. I, I think that's what the, the stay in Denmark with Cirque so far, what that proved to me was, you know, whether you can speak the same language or not, uh, that's part of it, you know, because my mother-in-law does not like to speak of the English, just not her thing. And every now and again, you know, she'll find a reason and she'll do it. And she's very nice to me no matter what. Just her thing is uh, not speaking English. She's a Danish fucking woman. What do you expect? (laughs) And and here I am coming from America where I learned to speak English. And then I grow up and I find out what English truly is. Woo. Hmm. Now, the, the stranger part of all that to me somehow is that here I am in, in a foreign country, and the people that speak the language that I speak, they use a lot of the words that I use, but they use them in different orders. So there, there's more to this Black's Law, Dog Latin definition than I could possibly ever do in an hour any damn way. But if I can open up somebody to, hey, checking that out because it's curious, hey, th- I never heard of that before, or I never thought of it like that before, that's that's the goal, you know. Your conclusions are just as freaking useless as my conclusions. But it's nice to uh, agree with other people about some of these things. You know, It's, it's a lonely world in, in this admiralty court, commerce, bullshit, taxes, government. Because <laughs> I was listening to Clint today. Just I put up a random link and 
And he was going on about them. Using the name. See? That's where they got you. Because it's a legal fiction. We we don't have surnames. That's what the law wants us to do so they can trap us in their commerce game. And then, of course, they give you titles and status if you succeed, you know, to make that, that illusion more attractive, I think, is the right way to put that. You know, I want to be a millionaire and have a thousand yachts and 57 slaves serving me all day long because I'm important. I don't think I want that. I don't really want. Want is want is excessive. Now, there's things that I require because if I don't do that, my carbon-based fucking carcass is going to erode, collapse, decay, die. Well, I don't want that. But I have all the opportunity around me. Well, I did at home, much easier fashion than I do where I'm at, let's say that. But back in the day, <laughs> we could, shit, we could buy anything, well, could buy anything you can imagine if you knew Jose well enough. You could just go, hey, Jose, get me a so-and-so. Hey, I got me an elixir from the wife while I'm doing shots because I'm on the radio. <laughs> so, so, anyway, I don't know. I think we're just all alive trying to make the best of whatever this trip through wherever we're at is supposed to go. And we all think we're doing it so differently than the next guy. That in, in the long run, it's just the amount of zeros, you know, or the percentage of your income that you get to keep after the government allows you to live in their soil, you know, because that's what we do. I mean, it's a result. Without the uh, dog lat, <laughs> I don't think if we all knew the correct way to communicate with each other, I don't think it would be as easy to manipulate and uh, extort and control people. But we've been taught all these wrong ideas. So we end up with like, you know, like what um, Larry Woods taught me about the uh, generators. The cycles, the resonance, the vibration. I may not be the ace of spades in regurgitation, but that's, it's not the regurgitation that matters. It's knowing the guy that you can trust for an answer to a question that you have. Regurgitation is wonderful, but crying out loud. That's what other people are for. Make other people necessary in your freaking life in ways that don't have anything to do with money. That, that's always a nice thing to do. You know, to be interested in somebody else's freaking information just because it's interesting. What a concept, huh? Of course, hey. We're not all, um, what's that guy's name? On AJ, what's his name, sir? Alex Jones. I couldn't remember his name, but I remember his initials. We're not all Alex fucking Joneses running around with bullhorns breaking up the party. No, no. Some of us are a little bit more subtle, you know. Like Mary. Mary's got that subtlety about her. She laughs at stuff. She doesn't give you her opinion without making you insane about what she thinks. Well, at least for me. Some people... Hmm, some people don't see what Mary sees. Wonder why? Because it's very, uh, very simple the way she looks at it. You know, like the medicine. That was an easy lesson for her through her mom. For me, I had to go through that myself. And, wow. And then gamble. You know, at the end and go. Well, I'm going to croak because they're fucking up my. I think it was my kidneys or my liver, one or the other, something like that, with these pills. Or I take get rid of the pills and I die of this illness and I went eh, fuck it if I'm going to get sick and die from this thing it's going to kill me fuck it well that was eight years ago now uh, over eight years and I'm still here ha 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 so 
you know, either I'm a completely unique individual or I am not a completely unique individual. I'm just like everybody else in the respect of if you poison me under the guise of helping me and I catch you, I'm not going to fucking do it. <laughs> I, I'm not giving any advice. I'm just telling you what I did. Right now, loud. I mean, I know people that ran across Second Avenue in traffic and didn't get hit by a car, but I wouldn't do it. Of course, she was blonde and pretty, so she probably stood a way better chance than me, but I still wasn't going to run across the damn traffic like that just to, you know, be funny, be uh, whatever at the moment. And I still, for the most part, think i think i live in the moment for the most part i try to stay out of the future out of the past but when you're not in the moment that's where you are and i don't know if i can always see that clearly sometimes i think i'm i'm in the now but if you're looking on you can probably catch me being uh, dreamy eyed thinking about tomorrow <laughs> gloating about something i did 20 years ago still feel good about it um but no, right now is what there is. We've still yet to figure out a way to market that. <laughs> Live in the moment. Fuck credit. Fuck tomorrow. Fuck the afterlife. Those, see, those are the ideas that get you uh, ignored. People don't want to be free of the surroundings. They want to. <laughs> they want to fit into the surroundings. I don't think that's what I'm looking for. Uh, I just want the surroundings and me to uh, coexist, you know, because I'm not here to change fucking anything. I didn't come here to become Danish. I didn't come here to change Dane into an American. And so far, six years running, I don't have one American or one Dane change to my record. <laughs> let's 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 play corporation, people. <laughs> Is your corporation as powerful as my corporation? We have a military, you know. Ever hear of the United States Marines? <laughs> and I thought all that shit about the uh, about the gun laws in Virginia, I thought that was just hype on the internet, people, you know, making memes starting trouble. So for the first week, I didn't even take it seriously. And then I went to the reallibertymedia.com chat, and I asked one of my, you know, people I trust, said, hey, what do you think? Is this stuff happening or am I just, you know, being entertained? They go, no, it's very real. So, my interesting, see, back to the freaking, the difference between the law language and the language we speak is oh, day and night. <laughs> and uh, they've got the right dictionary to define their words with and we don't. We got this Yahoo shit that fits the moment so you could say climate change and everybody in the fucking world that speaks English is going to know what you mean but it doesn't mean anything <laughs> it's bogus more more bullshit to shove down your throat distract you from the next freedom they're gonna you know relieve you of so you're not burdened with all that freedom <laughs> let the state take care of you baby now according to what I've read there are now Second Amendment sanctuary counties in the state of Virginia. <clears throat> now, am I right? Virginia was one of the original 13. Hold on one second here. Let me get a shot of tea. Ah, whoa, that's hot stuff, baby. Anyway, so if there are indeed Second Amendment sanctuary cities that are pro-gun right, whatever the hell that is. Uh, it seems to me you're just you know poking the bear in the eye because they're going to beat you eventually. They'll breed it out of the kids in another 20 years. But getting you to fight today, what would the point of that be, really, when you think about it? Why are, why are people as a collective so easily pushed to violence? You know, what is it about us that we think, well, if you don't fucking do this, we're going to shoot you. Oh, you know, maybe it's because the death business is big business. 
<laughs> these people make money off us dead. They make money off us alive. They just make money off us. We're, I think we're like a, we're a commodity. <laughs> Human resources. <laughs> I mean, come on. Do the math. Because yeah, this, all this language are, I did a link about it once where this guy breaks down what, what these words mean and the order that they're spoken in has a numerical value. And here's Black's Law Dictionary telling you these words that you use have a numerical value. <laughs> when spoken in a certain order, they mean this and they mean that in a certain order. Well, if we're not using the correct order, then, <laughs> and they are, who's wrong? I mean, damn, it's so, uh, it's like one of those subjective things. Well, I like the color light blue. Well, I like the color dark blue. You can't agree, but you both like blue, right? So we all go, hey, you know what? Lawyers kit kiss ass, fuck them all, blah, blah, blah. Judges are all corrupt, and here we go. Oh, but I gotta be at court in two hours. I got a ticket for, okay, well, you, either you comply, or you don't. <clears throat> and then there's, see, there's where the force comes. We're forced, and tricked, and lied to. If you were told the absolute truth about this, I think in the, in the light of like Grimner, Rob Wirtz, those are my two favorites. I shouldn't pick on people, but, you know, out of the the voices that, you know, that get my attention, I think for the people that can survive playing the game the best and still emotionally not be attached to it, that's the link that I see with Robin Grimm. Not that there's um, any, they're not doing any better or worse than anyone. I just agree with the, the mentality that I read off of and that independence, you know, because independence is not necessarily something you can um, accomplish alone. You know, sometimes it takes a, a team <laughs> to accomplish independence. I want to be free of that. Well, how do you get free of something that you're addicted to? Well, either you stop it or you replace it. Now, I cannot for the world imagine being addicted to authorita. Authorita is an ugly, horrible thing, in my opinion, the way I see it. Of course, I see horrible shit like the Chinese protests, the French protesting for a year against something they're not going to get. And now, now they're, uh, they're, they're misdirecting with... Macron's going to do this and he's going to do that. And it's got nothing to do with what the protests are about. The protesters are, don't want to work until they're 70 fucking years old like the rest of everybody else. And they have this idea that if they protest about it in the streets, that the government's going to see the light and they're going to do what they want. But they're not. They can't. This, <laughs> this game we're in is so deep at this point <laughs> if, if France if the workers of France got their way while everybody else didn't what are people going to think come on why are you treating your slaves better than us <laughs> you know it was like uh, I was saying earlier not today but on previous show about the, uh, the illegal aliens they had me all pissed off when I was trying to get my passport again because I had let it lapse, so I had to re you know, get another one. It was just painful. And all these freaking illegal aliens are standing in line, and they got their freaking goddamn documents all in order, and everything's all signed properly. And they don't speak two words of fucking English. I was like, wow. So I was listening to Clint today, and Clint was explaining that particular topic and saying that, they're undocumented, see? They're free of mother state. They, their allegiance is to another entity. So the United States seems to need to replace the entity that they already got with a new entity, or they can't do commerce. I don't know a better way to explain that, but uh, Clint does. 
So if I just make your um, your head split, <laughs> go over to UCY <laughs> and open up a Clint link. I got 10 minutes and I think I can do this. But uh, open up a Clint link. And he, he's been doing this for years. And he stopped doing radio to write a book. And then he occasionally he does radio or they'll, they'll post a random link on UCY on YouTube uh, for UCY. And a lot of that stuff is just priceless. Most of it is. Um, they covered uh, quite a few topics that I listened to. It took root, like the indoctrinations. <laughs> or the, in the inoculations indoctrination. <laughs> but the mentality behind somebody raising you and saying, Hey, you don't want to get any of those heroin needles. Don't be doing heroin in the streets with you. But they take you to a doctor, and the doctor goes, hey, roll up your sleeve. We're going to give you a shot. What? <laughs> so are we victims of the black law, Black's Law definition, or are we just gullible enough to do what we're told by authority? You know, our parents, whatever, force us to do what the state forces them to force us to do. <laughs> and since I was first, you know, arrived on planet earth the uh, rules of application have changed dramatically we went from hey stand over there to barbed wire in 60 years there's uh under the guise of freedom i'm going to close up my in a perfect world with under the guise of freedom we we're tricked with uh implied consent Oh, we're we're not taught the truth about what an application is or isn't. So when you sign your name on something begging for permission, it's uh, it's an accomplishment, Johnny. Everybody wants to do it. Sign right here. And as you grow older, you find out that everything is bullshit. No such thing as a driver's license, you idiot. It's a, a license is a piece of paper you pay for to break an existing law. So no law, no, it's all so obvious to me and so difficult to regurgitate back to you. <laughs> so I'm going to enjoy my last drink for the uh, extravaganza this evening and say thanks one more time to Mr. Grimner. Because there was a time where I had the just the, the worst case of the jitters, couldn't do radio alone. Now, don't give a shit. Either you listen or you don't. And if you're entertained at all, I really hope so. And if not, and uh, you took something serious and you find out that it's what I'm presenting is true, hey, good luck. Because having this information is uh, it's more for entertainment. You can't do anything serious with it except get into trouble <laughs> make enemies and well you might find a few peers along the road but it'll be it'll be rare and with that we're going to say roger wilco over and out thanks for hanging out on in a perfect world everybody good <laughs>